We all have a friend or a family member who've been trying to get to watch a show because it's really good and you're like, hey, you got to watch this show. It's really, really good. You should really spend some time watching this show. Have you watched it yet? No, because they're too stupid. Carla, I will confess I have been that stupid friend when it comes to Dear Mama. I've been meaning to watch it for so long and never got around to it until you told me that you wanted to walk, talk about it on today's show. And I sat down and watched it. I thought I was gonna watch one episode. Wrong, wrong. Carla, it's fantastic. Listen, it is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. This couldn't have come at a better time. And it's also the 30th anniversary of the year that Tupac Shakur left this earth. So all of those things coincide and make this docu-series one of the best things ever to watch on FX and Hulu. Take a look. Okay, my name is Tupac Shakur and I attend Tamapai High School and I'm 17 years old. Like I said, this is the year of all anniversaries. And with Tupac's mom no longer here, there's no better way to honor his memory and hers with Dear Mama, the song that he wrote in her honor. It is a five episode docu-series. It talks about how his life, how he came into this world, how his life was navigated, the death row versus bad boy issues, the money issues, the, the P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, whatever you want to call him. Pick a name. I don't care which one it is. Biggie Smalls issue. And I was surprised that there were people in his circle like Jasmine Guy that were really, really close to his mom. And it also shows intensely intimate footage of that Vegas fight that happened, which led to his demise. But Tupac was a deeper brother than I ever knew. I, I hate to admit it, but I didn't even become aware of him until Poetic Justice came out, the John Singleton film with Janet Jackson. But I was really impressed with the production value of it. And I'm not surprised because Alan Hughes is behind it. Charles King is behind it. Nelson George, who used to be a music journalist for Vibe Magazine and Billboard and a couple of others. He's behind it and Quincy Jones the third. So with all those people in the music industry behind this particular docuseries, it couldn't, it could do nothing but fly. And Carla, Tupac at 17 years old, there's an interview with him when he was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. He's so passionate about everything mm -hmm. and just so just like you could see that it factor that he had. Like if you interviewed me when I was 17, you would get one word answers and grunts and groans. But and Tupac you, was oh, on He was point. very, he was extremely, he was an old soul is the mm -hmm. best way for me to put that. He, he literally was an old soul at 17. And he just, I was really surprised to find out for some reason in my brain, I thought he had won a Grammy. He was only nominated six times. I think probably for that dear mama or, um, one of his, a Tupac's anniversary or whatever it's called. One of those, like I said, child, don't don't hate me when I start mispronouncing and misquoting the daggone albums because I said I didn't know about Tupac too poetic justice. So it'll be coming with me with the vitriol. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. But I'm just saying, I was really surprised at how, how eloquent he was at 17 years old. I was a lot like you because I didn't know, I knew broad strokes. This is much more in depth than that intimate yes we learned about his mom i mean she was such an activist like i had no idea that she was a black panther i had no idea that she was a single mom i had no idea about so many th i covered i covered this for the news i learned so much watching this also carla that i i had no idea so it is a fantastic fantastic series well then that is uh dear mama and that's uh on it's hulu. on fx hulu is streaming right now